All right, what did I get at the coin show? Let's take a look and see all the stuff I picked up. But before we get started, I want to give a special thank you to Jackalope Herdmaster, who dropped a super thanks on a video. Thank you very much, Jackalope Herdmaster, for doing that. Um, and if anyone else does ever feel like doing that, I uh, will give them a shout out in the videos and say thank you because it is a very extra special thing to do and I uh, definitely want to say thank you for all the love and support. All right, thank you very much. Let's get into the video. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right, awesome. Now pick them up, I'm not rich. All right, so I didn't spend a whole lot of time at the coin show today, um, but I did go with a plan and a purpose to try and get coins to finish filling albums out and stuff, or at least work on filling albums. So that is what I did. And I got some random stuff. Um, I tried to Looking some of the bins and cherry pick a little bit, but uh, was not uh, able to find anything. Um, but I didn't go around to every table doing that. Um, I did have a little bit of a limited time frame today, so. Um, but I did get some good stuff. Um, I did get some really good stuff. All right. Um, I was able to pick up some. Franklin's. I think I have enough Franklin's to fill the book, to fill every spot. I'm going to have to work on some upgrades, but uh, yeah, I got some Franklin's to fill spots. Got some quarters to fill some spots. Let's we'll zoom in a little bit. This is a proof. I did pick up a bunch of proofs. This is a 1999 with a little bit of a broad strike on it. Um, but it's just, you know, interesting. If I see, um, air coins that have a okay price, I'll pick them up. I don't know if there's any actual more value than what I paid for that. But yeah, there's a 73D. I don't know if I had a nice one or not in the book, um, in my album there, but. I figured uh, 73 and 74, those are some hard uh, to find dates in decent shape. Well, I picked up a couple of them from a bin as part of a bigger purchase to, uh, you know, see if I can get a little bit of a deal. And I did get a pretty good deal on all this stuff here. So 1942 uncirculated, that's going to hopefully look nice in the book there. And I got the 1943 uh, estimated war nickel it's a uh, 35 percent silver there um so uh i don't know if i need that for the book or not i think i have that one nice but you know i, I find it hard to pass up some nice looking war nickels when the price is good on them there is a 1959 oh it looks like i picked up 259 so oof. 1961 out of Denver. And these are nice. We will be seeing these and go in the album here soon. Uh, 1952. This is a very nice high quality Benji. Um, I remember when I was looking at it, the Mint Mart looked a little bit suspicious. Um, and this one looks to match to FS501. In the Cherry Pictures Guide, this is S over S over S, East and West. It's a repunch mint mark, so that was cool. Um, this was the only uh, 1952 S that I came across. And uh, that was going to put in the book, but I might, uh, I got to get a 60, a 56. I might look for another 62 to add to the book and set this one aside here. I mean, there was a guy, uh, guy I bought this from, had a whole album Benji's that look like this. Every single date was just gorgeous. 
Um, I couldn't afford the whole album, and he was breaking it apart to part it out and sell them coin by coin. So I picked up a couple. That's one. It's 1948 out of Denver. Very nice coin. That's going to be an upgrade. I didn't buy all the coins I wanted to. Um, off of him. There's a just an off center set. Off center strike. It is a very minor off center. Um, got a 1992 broad strike here. This is a very slight broad strike there. And also looking at these errors, I looked at them much closer. 1999 does look like a slightly broad struck coin. Um, it shows the um, it shows stretching on the surfaces and it looks a little bit larger. This 1992 um, looks more like a slightly off-center coin um, just based on the rim and how it looks. Could be wrong, I'm gonna plop them out of here and take a really good look at them. But uh, that's what that looks like. Um, I'll take, I'm going to take a good look at it make sure that there's no real issues or anything with it. 1960 die with some nice toning on it. I'm going to check that against my album there. Got a 1920 out of Denver. Um, to plug a hole in that album. There's another toned, very nice, 1963 for my dimes. All right, what else do we have here? Okay, so we got um, 65 and 66 SMS. Uh, another 71 proof. I think I came up, found this one, was going through some more, some proofs and stuff. And I think I like this one more than the other one I picked up. And I remembered why I picked up the second proof. So I picked the second proof up. If we look, if we can catch it right, this proof here has a bit of a cameo on the obverse. You see it right there? This one, not so much. You can see just how white and frosty the um, devices are. It's not a deep cameo, and um, to get it graded as a cameo it has to be you have to be able to see the frostiness all the way around as you look at it it's kind of hard for me to do that in the camera here um, I can see it much better in person and in the thing here and this one not so much so 71s weren't cameo coins um, the reverse not cameo 1992 proof. That one will fill a spot in the quarter album. 1979S Type 2. That's going to fill a spot. That's got spots on it. Oh no. I didn't notice that. Oh, it's got spots on it. Oh, maybe I won't use that for the albums. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And I got a bunch of proofs and stuff that are, I did not have for. Uh, the quarter album fill series there. This is a 65 Washington in decent shape. I don't think I have one that nice in the book, but you know, if I do, you know, oh well. There's no proof. And I don't know if I have this date as quite that nice, but it was a picked it up for a good price uh, silver quarter you know can't beat that and then I got a stack of um, West Points uh, they have a stack of West Points in the bin there so I just grabbed them all because the prices were reasonable <laughs> so yep so I got a stack of those. Let's see. All different ones. And then I picked up a really nice 1932 silver quarter. This one is from Philly. Um, 
I believe that'll be an upgrade for the album. We shall see. Oh, there's the 67 SMS. So I got the 65, 66, and 67 SMS sets there. And then the biggest purchase I made, um, I went ahead and pulled the trigger. And this is 1932. This is the key date for the um, a Washington Quarters there. And I could have paid a few hundred more dollars and got a nice um, MS version, but uh, I did pay a, a got a good deal on this. We worked out a good deal on this, um, so I got that for the albums. So that is what I ended up picking up. Went there with the intention of picking up the coins to fill up the albums, and I think I have one, two, three. 1959, 1959, I think I need, I think I'm one short, I think I need 1956, yep, just need a 56, so, um, I may try to run back to the coin show tomorrow, day two at the coin show, I got some pickups here, I wasn't planning on going to the second day of the coin show, um, but I had some coins to send to Annex, and um, I needed to see if I can get the binges I was missing to, to finish filling the album there. And I was able to pick some up. Um, I was only planning on going for like an hour, but I went for two hours. And I picked up well more than I uh, had planned on. Um, I couldn't stop. There were some really nice binges there, and I just couldn't stop. Um, so 1940 out of Denver. That was probably going to go against any album there. Same with this one, 1948. There. The Philly. Got a 1957. I don't know if this uh, spot was upgraded or not, but I uh, picked this one up. And if the uh, spot, it, you know, we'll see if the 57 upgrades or not. Um, I needed a 1947 Denver for the Nickel album. The one I have in there is pretty rough, and all the others right around it have been upgraded to nicer, so it's really sticking out. Um, there's the 1956 Franklin that I was needing, needing to fill the album, if I can talk right. And then I got the 1952S um, right here. And this has a little mark here. It looks like it's a dirt mark close up, but it might be more than that. I might put a little acetone on this and see if I can't get that to clear up a little bit. Um, no one had 52 S's at the uh, at the coin show. Um, the t I hit up most of the tables and I came across two of them. One from yesterday and this one today. So yeah. And then we had some error coins. I had a 2001 off center. It was pretty cool. Picked that up for a good price. Um, then we had this um, multi struck uh, off centered uh, Jefferson nickel. It has a paint mint mark and it is a three in the year, but that's all you can see. So yeah, there is no nothing on the reverse there. Um, and then I picked up this one. So 1975 multi-struck. Um, the first strike was off center, pretty far off center there. It looks like the second strike. There was another coin, another planchet in here on the side, which um, is why you don't see the design on this end. Uh, looks really cool and interesting. There it is. A strike. Let me see. 1975. That's well, a really cool penny. Um, you know, pick those up for some good prices there. Um, so that is all for the pickups for the day. So, lots of cool stuff. Um, and again, I was only planning on going for um, about an hour so I could drop some things off to the Annex rep for grading. 
Um, but I ended up staying for two hours and I spent more than I had planned. I'd only planned on picking up these two, but then I couldn't stop myself. All right. Well, um, this and with the other stuff I picked up yesterday that was in the earlier part of the video, um, drop, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If with, if uh, there was something you liked, something you don't like, something you would have or wouldn't have picked up. Um, if you, or what you would like to pick up at the coin shows, or what you'd like to look at, let me know down below. All right. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and make sure you drop that comment and let me know what you think. And uh, as always, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.